Bricks and Minifigs is your one-stop shop for all things LEGO. Hit the link below to find a store near you. Hi, my name is Emmanuel Mostetti. I'm from Idaho, from iLog, Idaho Log users. And uh, yeah, first time out of the state. Um, I created the Batcave, uh, the Wayne Man Manor, and under constructions, we have another manor from a different era of the movies. So which era does this one represent that's you, Bill? 1989, that's the Michael Keaton's uh, movie. Okay. And then that's from Christian Bale. Uh, uh, under construction. Under construction, yes. We need, uh, I need help. <laughs> I need help. So I had help from my daughter, Ella. Uh, right now, she's not with me. But yes, we are new builders, and uh, Lego is everything. Well, for being new builders, it's a very impressive layout here. Yes. So let's start at the top there, maybe with the, the Wayne Manor, if you can talk about the design of that, and then we'll work our way through the Batcave. So uh, watching the movies, uh, seeing all the pictures and everything uh, on the internet, I chose, it's probably the most famous one, uh, the Wayne Manor from uh, Tim Burton's uh, uh, idea or uh, version. Um, what What are some of the architectural details that you were kind of capturing in there? I use most European the ar ar architecture. Um, originally, I'm from Romania, um, so I like ar architectures and stuff like that, and uh, which I tried to make as much as authentic I could say with uh, with the with the style and everything that I had so I hope I did a good job with the what are some of your favorite details among all those different uh, elements in there maybe just some of the challenging parts of kind of capturing a building like that the roof probably was the most challenging uh, it's first try who knows next year next events I will uh, expand more uh, indoor, inside, I could tell it's not uh, finished. So that's just more exterior with the build. Um, I don't know what else I should. Uh, no, that's all good. We can we can make our way underground. Yeah. Then start with the so, back end, maybe in the, the the left corner and make our way around. Uh, left side, on the top, it's the training. So most of the young ones are are there. So underneath. The way I've, I've tried to do it, it's a multiverse of Batmans. <laughs> now that we had uh, the new uh, um, Flash movie and we saw characters from different eras and all of that, I've tried to create a similar idea with that. So if you, if you see a lot of Batmans, <laughs> yes, different universes and different uh, uh, eras put together, so from the newest ones with the oldest, uh, the bad computer. It, it was something that in the old movies I've seen and it was something that I really, really want to have in the not so much movement yet. It should have been, um, but we have difficulties with, uh, with the technic part. Motorizing things Motorizing. is always a struggle. Yes, it is. That's, that's a part. And uh, being a new, mem new I uh, Lego user, I could say I'm still learning. And it's, uh, it's, a, it's a process. Uh, yes, I know that there are over a hundred minifigs with Batman. I own 65 of those and I've tried to put all of them. Most of them, they look like they are suits, equipments and stuff and those. So not necessarily Batmans everywhere, but yeah. Uh, structure, I've tried to do as much as I can, higher and higher so we can see the cave. I've seen projects that they were incorporated and they were too dark and hard to see if it's the distance from where the kids are trying to watch. So I've tried to leave open, but it's like figurative. You can see signs where it's the walls and where uh, we have. 
uh, the interior style of the cave so the lights help a lot as well to kind of yes. highlight those details in it because yeah. it's always such a shame when builders put in work but then you can't kind of make out a lot of those cool details the the sections that i build each section when i start building i added the lights at the right moment otherwise it's hard to put it other other ways so all the lights are lego style so it's good that they can be incorporated in, in the in the process so um, what, what's happening out front here with some of these characters? Uh, besides the uh, running, because we have, let's say, tiny fights. I've tried to make tiny scenes in each area, from the Lego Batman movies to the newest or to the oldest ones. So we have the the room of the, I have uh, All the artifacts and things. Yeah, yes, there are different names that right now I really don't remember. The trophy room. There you go. Yes, that's it. That's the trophy room. And then it's back there. We have a little bit of party because we are, we need to, to party by us. And uh, yes, having the deck, it, I had, full of cars here it's in a way it was the garage but I said it's 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 gonna be too crowded so I spread the cars all over uh, the, the mock the, the, the project Are some of the vehicles custom in yes. here so this is one of the customs this is one of the customs what can you tell us about the design of those uh, how did those come together looking at what Lego build and what you can find online, I've tried to replicate as much as I could, but you know, every time distance, uh, size could be completely different from one to another. From the big ones to the <laughs> very small ones, this is not my uh, creation, but this is the tiniest that I have. The 1989. Very cool. <laughs> yes. Um, what else? Uh, yes. The build was done last year in the summer. We displayed it at uh, Idaho and Boise for the first uh, mock fest that we had there. And uh, there were people that they were saying, okay, you have one Wayne Manor why don't you have a different one? So this year I started building the Chris Nolan from the, the Dark Knight, uh, Wayne Manor. It's still under construction, probably until October when we have uh, our new uh, mock fest in Idaho, has to be done. And uh, hoping that uh, I'll start a different one, the one from the newest, from, from Ben Affleck uh, movie, so, yeah. Very nice. I mean, this whole layout is amazing. One thing I like, I, you obviously had a lot of parts to, to yes. build up in the rock work there. How did that come together? Uh, I bought Bricklink. That's one of the ways. And then Bricks and Minifigs, that was another way, bought in bulk by Buckets. A year and a half probably it took me to gather the pieces, a few months to think the design and to put it together, the cave, almost two months, the first way manner, a month and a half, and we'll see how long it's gonna take the second uh, way manner. So altogether, number of pieces, that's hard to say. It's very hard. When you start a project, at least when I start projects, I kind of count uh, the pieces or by once you pass thousands and thousands, you lose, you lose the, the number. So that's hard to say, but yeah. Excellent work. What was it like bringing it to the show here and setting all this up? Because it's a, it's a large build. It's a large build. Uh, it has sections so it comes 
the cave comes in six sections and the way manor has three huge mountains and 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 then it's three three parts it's the way manor the way i've tried to to make it even this one to change it if i want to swap from one to another so uh, boxes filled and put together try to uh, boise is not that far 360 miles from here but still, we had a little bit of damage. It, it happens. This is it when you travel. But yeah, yeah. Like, uh, uh, like a Lego user, I am not uh, putting glue on anything. So that's, uh, that's the way we should do. There you go. Well, this is fantastic. Thank you thank so much you. for taking us through the whole layout here, and I can't wait to see more from you in the future. So thank you. Yes. Yep. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.